Someone much wiser than your humble narrator many years ago said, the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Aristotle, Metaphysics. And following Aristotle's teaching, I will recount to you Alessandro's story as a whole, so that you will know him better. Alessandro lives in Beirut, Lebanon. From Beirut, Alessandro writes energy analysis and reports for the Italy Kuwait Association. In addition, Alessandro manages his own website, Alessandro Bacci's Middle East. He attends conferences and events related to the energy business in the region. And sometimes, he participates to TV programs related to international affairs and energy issues. When Alessandro arrived in Lebanon, he knew only a few words in Arabic. So initially, he had very difficult days. But since then, he has been constantly improving his comprehension of Arabic, Lebanese colloquial and modern standard Arabic. So, today, Alessandro is able to easily read oil and gas contracts in Arabic. But who is he really? To obtain an answer to the question, who is Alessandro really, we have to go back some years. Florence, Italy, middle of the 1970s. Alessandro was born in the historic neighborhood of Santa Croce. He attended the prestigious Classical Lyceum Dante Alighieri, majors in Ancient Greek and Latin. And later, he obtained an LLB and an LLM in International Law from the University of Florence. But already while studying law in Florence, Alessandro had the feeling that he had to get more education, mainly in economics. So he applied for a dual master's degree. And first, he flew to Paris to achieve a Master of Public Affairs from Sciences Po. 
and then he flew to Singapore to achieve a Master of Public Policy from the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy. Indeed, the puzzle of Alessandro's life is more complete if I tell you that during the years he has completed some other courses related to the field of international affairs. Among them, and some internships as well. How did Alessandro's interest for international affairs and the Middle East start? Alessandro's interest derives from three click moments. First click moment. When he was a kid, Alessandro used to watch TV. Today he still remembers having listened many times to the news about Lebanon and the Persian Gulf countries. Second click moment. In August 1991, Alessandro and his family were in Moscow during the days of the coup against President Mikhail Sergeyevich Gorbachev. Third click moment. In the summer of 2007, Alessandro did an internship with the UNDP in Manama, Bahrain. I may already guess your next question to Alessandro. What is the main focus of your activity? The aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well, the product or service fits him and sells itself. Peter Drucker So, Alessandro's role is energy specialist with reference to policy, government and public affairs in the Middle East and North Africa. Today's working culture should be one of transparency, collaboration, and real-time engagement. Alessandro's LinkedIn page What are Alessandro's wows? To understand his wows, I previously have to explain to you something more. Today, we are experiencing a mercurial business climate. Nowadays, the business environment is more volatile and complex than it was before. Four adjectives will define it. Volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous. VUCA is the military acronym that is used in the corporate field. Until some years ago, the classic Middle Eastern expert was someone who had alternatively come out of one of the following three paths. Arabic language studies, international relations, history or Middle Eastern studies, 
previous experience in the Middle East in the security field as a soldier or a contractor. Today, these kinds of figures are not anymore sufficient. They miss something. The business has changed and is increasingly more complex. Necessarily, while there is always interest toward the professional figure who well understands the Middle Eastern environment, language included, at the same time it is required that this professional figure needs strong foundations in law, economics, business and politics. Indeed, this image is very beautiful. It conveys to us ideas of Middle Eastern nights, oriental scents, adventurous atmospheres and so on. It reminds us of past times, like the beginning of the 20th century, when in the Middle East it was possible to meet people like Gertrude Bell, T. Lawrence, Harry St. John Bridger Philby or George Reynolds. In other words, the image represents an old-fashioned past era that does not entirely overlap anymore with present-day Middle East. Until recently, people have been selected according to physical attributes in old times, especially for manual labor, verbal, analytical, mathematical and logical cleverness, especially in the 20th century, competency, i.e. specific characteristics and skills from the 1980s onward. Instead, in a VOOC environment, you can rely anymore on physical attributes, verbal, analytical, mathematical and logical cleverness or competency. The world runs so fast that people like Giovanni Pico della Mirandola, an Italian Renaissance philosopher who had the prodigious memory in several different fields, could not exist anymore. In the 21st century, people, in whatever part of the world they live, are important and valuable for corporations, governments, associations and think tanks according to their potential, which is today's most important characteristic. Potential, which defines a person's wows, is spotted through five indicators. 1. Motivation. 2. Curiosity. 3. Inside. 4. Engagement. 5. Determination. Alessandro's wows will embody these five indicators, which indeed spot a person's potential. 1. Motivation I have a very strong commitment to pursuing relentlessly my goals, one of which is being an expert in relation to the geopolitics of energy in the Middle East. Motivation is the engine forcing me to constantly improve myself and to invest time in this process. 2. Curiosity I strive to seeking new knowledge and to learning new things across different fields. Openness to learning and change is a must with reference to the geopolitics of energy, which is a discipline influenced by many different but interlocked factors. 3. Inside, one of my most important qualities is being able to gather and make sense of information in a complete way. The geopolitics of energy is based in different fields of knowledge, which only when analyzed together provide a clear understanding. 4. Engagement I like to communicate and connect with people in a human-centered and logic manner. The decision of learning Arabic goes exactly toward this direction. In no way could I live and work in the Middle East without knowing Arabic. 5. Determination I like difficult challenges, and I know how to learn from my own mistakes and to re-enter the right track. The Middle East is not an easy environment but with determination, I'm accustomed to his fascinating complexities. Mm -hmm. 
Alessandro can really build trust. We build too many walls and not enough bridges. Isaac Newton I am neither Christian, nor Jewish, nor Gabor, nor Muslim. I am not of the East, nor of the West. I have put duality away. I have seen the two worlds as one. One I seek, one I know, one I see, one I call. Jalaluddin Rumi oil and gas companies. Consultancies. Think tanks. governments. After we have seen the past, let's travel to the future. Plus, Alessandro does not have a crystal ball, nor is he a trained auger. No road is too long for the man who knows where he's going to. Reading. In specific, I like reading the New York Times and many publications about international affairs, books and magazines, with of course a lot of attention given to the energy field. In general, I read essays more than novels. honing my mathematical skills. Given the fact that at high school I had done classical studies and that initially, at the tertiary level, I had studied law, later on it took me some time to understand the importance of math, which definitely is a science that we use on a daily basis. Traveling. I'm very passionate about traveling because, since I was a child, I have loved to understand different cultures, which always broaden our mental horizons. The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. St. Augustine Doing sports, in particular, 
I like swimming, tennis, soccer, and skiing. As the Roman poet Juvenal said, mensana in corpore sano, which may be translated as a healthy mind and a healthy body.